Keshi Kotalagi Dikanawe. My name is um, Noreen Simplicio. Uh, I am a Zuni potter. Uh, I've been a potter for about 35 years now. Um, my first lessons were uh, taught to me by um, a woman by the name of um, Jenny Laati. She was an Akama woman that lived here in Zuni and um, she taught in the school system, so that's where I took my basic um, pottery sessions. Um, there was also another lady that was a big inspiration in my life. Both ladies were big inspirations in my life. Her name was Angelina Medina. She was also Akamazia. She lived here in Zuni. Um, she had a, she was in the education system too, and she also had a pottery business on the side. So I worked for her a number of years. But um, I think I already kind of knew that uh, I was uh, my destiny was to to be a potter because I remember as a young child um, playing with, with mud outside and, and playing making mud pots. So I think that was my destiny to be a to be a potter, but um, I have my, my style of pottery um, is mainly like traditional pieces that I do. I also do a lot of um, contemporary pieces. Um, my special specialty, I think, is my Pueblo scene pots um, because they're very unique. All my pieces are hand done, um, which makes them unique. And it, what's cool about it is um, when I go gather the clay, you look at the piece of clay and it's pretty fascinating how, how these pieces become such beautiful um, works of art. There's a lot of clay sites in Zuni, but I've always come to this place simply because um, the clay here is very, uh, very good by itself. It's very strong. But I've been coming here for about almost 30 years now. And um, when, I, when I first learned how to make pottery, um, I came here back in 1978. Um, it was a, I learned at the high school. So this was one of our field trips to come harvest clay, gather clay. But as you can see, um, the resource is being used a lot apparently. So now it's it's this is how it is now. You can barely get to the clay anymore. It's way deep in inside the little canyon there. So it's kind of um, dangerous um, to gather clay here anymore. So I think um, this is going to be um, kind of late to rest now. But um, again, I've been coming here for a long time and. Uh, it's got a lot of memories here. It's a very special place for, for us potters, and I think it's a very popular place. Uh, in our culture, we have a lot of um, things that we do before we actually get things from nature or from the earth. So actually, when before we start digging for the clays, we do offerings of prayer cornmeal and food. This is kind of like asking Mother Earth to be able to uh, get from her flesh and be able to use it in, in very positive ways. So I just want to get down here and show you what it actually is like to be way down here on that, the, the very deep inside there, there's, there's clay deposit in there. And I always like to dig in there. Um, so you kind of have to crawl in here and dig it out. Sometimes it will be dry, sometimes it will be wet. It's like this is really pure Zuni natural clay and it comes out a pretty peach color when you when you actually process it. I think I'll always be inspired. I've pretty much dedicated my life to the clay. Um, and um, um, it's, it's a very special gift that, that um, the Creator has blessed us with and um, I often like to share and teach uh, whoever's willing to learn the art. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the future um, I'll be able to teach and work with the youth and I have several um, 
members in my family that um, that do pottery that uh, have been my students, like my son, he's a very good artist, and and my niece and my nephew, my mom has tried it, and so those are the people that I'm hoping that will carry on my legacy um, someday, and, and hope that I um, always. Um, inspiring people and um, as artists you know uh, we all inspire each other. My name is Noreen Simplicio. I am a Zuni artist.